What's up, Cal gang? Welcome back to Statics. All right, so we have this problem today. So the goal is to find the force in beams BC, HC, and HG. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using the moment or the method of sections to find this. And so let's get started, right? So first of all, um, I don't have the picture pulled up, but let's pull it up really quick. Uh, so yeah, so A is a roller and B is a pin, or E is a pin. So let's go ahead and finish this force body diagram. So, of course, there's going to be forces at A and E, right? That's where it acts up. So if A is a, a roller, there's only going to be A of Y. So this is going to be A of Y. We can label that. Then if we go over to E, E is a pin, so it's going to have E in the Y direction. And E of X. Right. So now we need to find out what A of Y, E of Y, and E of X is. And that's going to help us find these three forces here. So that's our next step. So let's go ahead and start with the easiest one. So of course, uh, what we can do first is do some of the forces. So let's do some of the forces in the x direction. So if we add up all the forces in the x direction, we know it has to be equal to zero, because we're equal equilibrium. And the only thing acting in the x direction is e of x. That just tells us that e of x is equal to zero. I'm going to write that up here, e of x is equal to zero. So next, let's try to find a of y and e of y. So there's two unknowns in the y direction, so we can't just do some of the forces in the y. So instead, we're going to have to take a moment. So let's take the sum of the moments at A. It's going to get rid of A of Y, and then we're just going to have one unknown left in the equation. So sum of the moments around A. We know it's equal to zero, because we're at equilibrium. So each one of these is three meters. I forgot to write that. So three meters, three meters, three meters, three meters. So the first one, 12 kilonewtons, it's pushing down. So around A, it's going to want to make us rotate counter or clockwise, so it's going to be subtractive. So negative 12. So we're going to take the force and then we're going to multiply it by its distance, which is three meters. Okay, then we're going to go to the next one, 14 kilonewtons. It's pushing down, it's going to make us want to rotate clockwise around A. So negative 14, subtract 14, multiply it by its distance, which is three plus three, six. And again, 18 is negative, so it's going to be minus 18 times its distance, which is nine. And then finally, E of Y is pushing up, and it's going to make us want to rotate counterclockwise. And if we're going to go counterclockwise, we have to add it, so it's going to be plus E of Y times its distance, which is 12. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to either you're going to add all these numbers up, move them over, divide by 12, do whatever you have to do, and you're going to get that E of Y is equal to 23.5 kilonewtons. So there we go, we found E of Y. So now we can easily find A of Y, so let's do that. So if we take some of the forces in the Y direction, we know it's equal to zero, so let's go ahead and add them up. So we have A of Y, minus 12, minus 14, minus 18, minus 18, plus E of Y, right? E of Y is pushing up, so we're gonna add 23.5. So then again, we're just gonna move A of Y over, and you're gonna get that A of Y is equal to 20.5 kilonewtons. All right, so these are two important numbers that are going to help us solve. So now we can go ahead, if you wanted to, and find the force in every one of these. So we can start at one side and we can work our way down. But that's way too much work, right? What we want to do is be efficient. And the easiest way is we're looking for the forces in BC, HC, and HG. So it's this one here, this one here, and this one here. So conveniently, we can kind of just make a cut right here. And this is the moment of sections. We're going to take a cut, and then we're going to redraw our force body diagram, and it's going to make it a lot easier to solve this problem. So we're going to take that cut there because it cuts through all three of our forces. That's the goal when you make a cut, is to get through all three of them. <clears throat> so we made a cut here, and we can either do this side or this side. I think we're going to take this side because it's going to be a little easier, just because it's like shorter. It doesn't actually make a difference, though, which side you do. It's just a, a little different kind of work. So we're just making a force body diagram with everything over there. So this is A, then it goes to B, up to there, down to there. So this is A, this is B, and then this is H. Right, so this is three meters. It's uh, three meters tall. And then now we have our forces. So this is force BC, right? It's an internal force, but now it's becoming an external force. I'm gonna use blue to draw these. All right, so we have that one. So this is BC, we're gonna assume it's tension, so it's pulling outward. And then we have HC, so HC is pulling down like this. So this is force HC, 
This is force BC. And then of course we have force HG. So force HG is going to come out this way. There we go. So now we have our three forces, and that's how we're going to find them. We've got to make sure that we include all of our other forces too. So we have this 12 kilonewton. Uh, it's kind of dead marker, so 12 kilonewton. And then we have A of Y. Right. So this is our new force body diagram, right? So we can work with this force body diagram now to find these three forces. And that's how we do the moment of sections. So let's start with um, what's the easiest thing we could do here? So if we look at this, we know A of Y, we know this, and we don't know these three. So we have three unknowns. But luckily we can make three equations. So our first equation could be some of the forces in the y direction. And the reason I'm going to choose that is because this force acts in the y direction, but these two only act in the x direction. So these are not going to be part of the equation. There's only being one unknown. So if we look at just this force body diagram and take some of the forces in the y equal to zero, what's it going to be? It's going to be a of y minus 12. And then this angle is 45 degrees. Just you know, pretty easy to tell that it's 3, 3. So that angle is going to be 45. So then force HC is negative force HC, and it acts cosine of 45, right? Because we're just looking in the y direction, so if you take cosine of 45, it's going to be whatever it is in the, just the y direction. All right, so then let's go ahead and solve. So we're going to move force HC over, and then we're going to divide by the cosine of 45. So it's going to be A of Y is 20.5 minus 12 divided by cosine of 45. So you do this, you get force HC is equal to 12.0 kilonewtons. And uh, so we assume that all of these are in tension because they're pulling outward. So if you get a positive number, that means that your force is in tension. But if you get a negative number, that means that your force is in compression. So that's the reason we make sure to choose that all of these are in tension, just to make things easier. So we got a positive number, that means it's in tension. So tension. So there we go. That's one answer. Let's move on to the next one. So unfortunately now we have two unknowns left, and we can't do some of the forces in the x because then there'll be two unknowns, so we have to take a moment. So where are we going to take our moment around? Well, let's take it around to h, because it's going to get rid of these forces, and it's just going to be this one left. You could do either, but it's going to be a little easier this way. So we're taking the sum of the moments around h. We know it's going to be equal to zero, because we're at equilibrium. So let's go ahead and start. So force bc acts to the right, so it's going to be, right, so force bc is going to make us want to rotate counterclockwise, so we're going to add force BC, and then its length, which is 3 meters, which is how far away it is. All right, so this 12 kilonewton load pushes straight down. So this is not going to cause a moment around H because it's pushing straight down, right? That's pretty simple. So that's going to not be in the equation. So then all we have left is A of Y. So A of Y is pushing up. It's going to make us want to rotate clockwise, so we're going to have to subtract A of Y, and then its distance in the X direction is 3 meters. So then we just have to solve for BC, so we're going to move one of them over, and you're going to get force BC, and then the threes are going to cancel. It's going to be equal to A of Y. So then we know what A of Y is, so just then you're going to get that force BC is equal to 20.5 kilonewtons. And then, then again, this is a positive number, so we know it's in tension. Cool, so let's go ahead and do our last, last number. So we're going to do some of the forces in the X direction, just because we have one equipment, one unknown left. We know it's equal to zero, we're in equilibrium, so let's add them up. So we got force BC plus force, oh, I did that wrong, but force HG, and then plus force HC uh, sine of 45 this time, right? Because it's acting at an angle. So what are we solving for? We're solving for force HG because we have HC and BC, so we're going to subtract it over, so we get negative force HG is equal to force BC, we have that 20.5 plus force HC 12 cos or sine of 45. So you do the math on this, you're gonna get force HG is equal to negative 29 kilonewtons. So we got a negative number, so a negative number implies that we're in compression. So we're gonna have to label compression there. And that's our final one. So there you go, so we found the three forces. This is way quicker than if we were to find every force going down the line like the other method. Um, so yeah, this is how you do these kind of problems. Um, let me get out of the way so you can see the answers. If you have any uh, questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comments and check out my playlist. I have a whole bunch of videos. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.